So today on the bench, we have a 2003 instrument cluster out of a Chevrolet pickup truck. And one reason I had this on my bench is um, the guy that owned this is a guy I think a lot of. And um, I was telling him that I had a 2004 that I had to go through and put the stepper motors in when the gauges just stopped reading. The little steppers that just hang up and stop uh, pulsing when they're supposed to um, make it to their their proper position on the gauge and uh, mine in particular was the speedometer first then the gauge gas gauge i believe but um that was a, a truck i had uh, several years ago but it had just went out of um warranty at the time and I, I ended up having to fix it myself so when he mentioned that this truck that belonged to his dad was doing it i told him we had done it before and it probably wouldn't be a big deal so he ordered a kit with the six little steppers you can get the six steppers and the bulbs um off ebay or amazon but um i just thought we'd spend a little bit of time looking at it and i'm gonna try to refresh my memory of um what it's like putting these stepper motors in so we'll just get right to it take the cover off so he did take this out and just bring it to me and it doesn't take but a few minutes to take it out of the actual vehicle if i remember right a little bit of trim removal and it's just a, a few bolts a few screws rather and i'm sure there's tons of videos about this already out there but we do have electronic repair channel and hey while we at it just thought maybe we would um look at this one so i got the back cover off and the front lens cover off and now we can actually um access the board from the rear so we actually have to take our um our needles off be very careful to do so and most of these do just slide off and i'm gonna lay them in their proper location here and there we go and now we can just separate our gauge cluster and we do have our nice vacuum fluorescent displays so this one does just take the six of course we don't have the optional uh, motor on here so I'm just going to heat up the soldering iron and um, maybe go through and show at least one being completely removed. And to uh, shorten up the video, it'll just be a repeat on the other other five after we do the one. So, so many people mess up these pads by not desoldering correctly. So it's worth it to take your time and get the solder flowing good before you try to uh, vacuum it out. And no matter what, you don't want to force it off when you try to pull it's got four pins as a typical stepper motor would it be a four pole or four pin but you want to be able to just pull off gently if not you'll you'll pull the solder pad right off but I'm still hanging on a little bit here and I'm not going to force it. I'm just going to bring over some solder wick and use some rosin flux. Even though this stuff will be sticky, it'll clean up fine with alcohol and just take a little bit of swabbing. Make sure I have all the solder off the, the pads so you don't take a risk on uh, pulling them off. And of course, as I mentioned in a lot of my videos, you just have to be careful with them. Um, with braid it just takes a little bit of getting used to you don't want to remove your heat and let it stick and then pull it and actually pull your pad off you just want to be mindful of that these little pads you can pull them off uh, very very easily and that one just pops right out it had a little bit of curvature where they were laid if you can see that it just had a little bit of resistance where they curved them in but the pads are in excellent shape and these are um these don't have v as a plated through hole so that's got that first one off here's the new x27 and the cool thing about this is they have a little line up pin here and here and you really can't mess these up just make sure it goes in a line up pin and it pushes in and you want to push all the way down flush so that's not an issue um you don't want to be dragging because the angle or it's canted um you want it to be pushed down well and um, i typically just push them in and then push the pins over and then you don't have to worry about it
flux just helps a lot um, with impurities and it helps it um it helps it flow a lot better can make the job a lot quicker for you make it a lot cleaner you typically gonna have a lot shinier solder joint So there we go, got the board cleaned up with some alcohol and there's our solder joint. I'm definitely marking mine that I install as 5 2020. That way we know it was replaced this month. And really you just can't stress enough that after even uh, vacuum it, you want to be able to wiggle that pin. See how you can wiggle that pin? And it's loose in that hole. Hopefully you can see that on camera. It's hard to get the lighting just right. But see that it's completely loose. So if you pull on that, you're not going to pull the pad. This one right here, for instance, I'm going to get some braiding. Hit it because it ain't quite loose enough. I think that's the only one out of the four. So that's what the pads look like with it out with the new X27 in it, but not soldered yet. So back now with all the stepper motors replaced on this cluster and also eight of the bulbs, this particular kit only came with eight and it takes 11 on this 2003 cluster. The blinkers don't get used as often, so I left those. So just pick one over here that the elements still look really good on and it on good. So now we'll just put this back together. Everything lined up good. And these things were made for easy assembly on the production lines. Snaps back easy. The next thing we're going to do is put on our gauges. And I always make sure I put them on to the far right enough that I can bring them back in at the bottom out and the gauges just slip down to zero. A little bit past E. And even though I don't remember, I don't think I ever had to go back and adjust mine on my 2004 once I zeroed these out, but it has been quite a while. So I'll tell my friend that he can, um, he can just pop this off if he has to and recalibrate it when he puts it on. But I think that's going to do it right there. If you like this video and we're placing these stepper motors for this 2003 Chevrolet cluster, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.